Hello, everybody, and welcome to Layers of Fear 2. I'm back. I haven't streamed in just a little while, but I'm here. It is the 4th of July, and for all of you Europeans, that is the that means that's the day that America freed itself from British tyranny to only find itself in more tyranny uh, 300 years later. So welcome, everybody, to Layers of Fear uh, 2. Now, I wasn't going to do this game um, for a while, but I have been... Some type of scale, that's kind of an odd way to... Definitely turn the head bob off. Um, I wasn't going to play this game for a while, but I figured, why the hell not? Let's get it in there. Um, as you guys know, I'm not a huge fan of the first layers of fear. Um, and the reason being is I just don't feel like it's that great of a game. Uh, after seeing a playthrough of this game done, I feel like this game does turn out a little better. Um, it does have some much cooler stuff in it, some references and everything, which is really nice. Um, so we're really just going to dive right in. So, for those who are kind of unaware, this game takes place on a boat um, where a movie is being filmed. At least that's the idea. Um, the water looks good. Um, yes, this game is still developed once again by Bloober Team team that created the first layers of fear as well as observer and uh this is uh, of course the second game that's been featured on their, on my channel of theirs the third of which is going to be uh blair witch which is going to be coming out in the end of august it's got like a painting here of treehouse i do know there are some layers of fear one references got a boat Alright, well, let's keep heading down this way. So the boat seems to be pretty... I mean, we're, we're obviously on the boat because we're tilting back and forth. Um, but the, the boat's really in bad condition. Okay. Such a shame. You almost had it. <laughs> oh. So, Act One The Unmooring. So, for those of you who remember from the first game, uh, if you remember the painting of. The lady that looked like a... She had a rat face? That was her. Um, I believe she was called the Rat Queen. Um, you will play your part. You will stay awake. Sleep supports gifts. And so are you. All okay. Alright, so this is probably what I would assume, like with the first game, this is the room that the characters associate with. This is probably his personal quarters. So we have a few things around. Let's go ahead and check them out. A metronome. Okay. Can't open that up. We have a audiograph. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. 
Contestant one, two, three. Um, okay. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. All right, I guess that's all that does. Okay, we have a desk here with a note. This is a daily dispatch telegram. Hope you settled in all right. I'm assuming that I can, yes. Okay, I hope you settled in all right. Remember what we talked about. Focus on what you do best. Go to that special place of yours. Find your motivation, build the character. Trust me, it'll be worth it. I'll try to keep in touch. Travel safe, your friend and agent. Let's have a couch here, and this is uh, like a slide picture graph. We have another note here. So long I have struggled to finish what was started. I had nearly lost hope, and yet here we are. Okay. So, uh, yeah, this is like a slide picture graph, which uh, holds different slides. And uh, this is like a this is like the deck of a boat, which kind of looks like it's on fire, to be honest. Uh, build the character, connect the memories, dreams, and fears. Prepare for the big roll. Act. There's some blanks apparently. Okay. Uh, can I go up here? I can. Alright, up here we have what appear to be little stands. Maybe collectibles of sorts. We also have a telescope. Which can see out into the ocean. Looks fine from here. There's also this creepy sea creature of some kind. Oh, I can't move faster by pressing that in. Okay. Esteemed traveler, the room has been set up per your request. The reel was delivered shortly before departure. We wish you a fulfilling journey. Respectfully, Icarus Transatlantic. So that's the ship company I'm on. And in here, there is a private theater. Some what look like costumes. There are kind of two uh, desks here. This one has a note on it. Build a character, preparation, explore. Who am I? Where am I? So we have a reel. Let's go ahead and turn that on. One in his time plays the parts of many men. He observes the others, while the others watch him. He's expected to behave properly, wandering through worlds that aren't really there. He puts on masks and adjusts accordingly. Each mask is a character. Each character a layer. Layers of upon fear. layers calling fear. out to him. He must build the character he was meant to portray or lose himself completely. Submerged, tightly surrounded by lives he's never lived. And yet, he stands on a stage where every man must play 
apart. And his is a sad one. All right, more of the unboring. So, uh, I guess essentially the idea is, of course, to build the character. Um, you know, of course, to build the character, find out who you are, I guess, in the in the sense. Um. Now, have you guys noticed that deer shot? There was that deer shot, which was like straight out of Red Dead Redemption 2. It's like the same shot from Arthur's memories. Oh, look. Appear to have a different hallway. Okay. Well, I guess we're fucking in it now. Um, we got this note. As, as Steam Traveler, as per the director's request, this section of the ship has been closed off to all passengers and crew. Wish you a pleasant, fulfilling day. So yeah, so the 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 I the premise of the the game is that there is like supposed to be a film that's being made on the ship, um, and um, we're the actors, so they have closed off like this part of the ship to us. Uh, I just uh, can't really check that. So yeah, this door is locked. Okay, that's also locked. This picture, this picture of the ship, is uh, kind of repeating, as we can see. Whispers. Oh, Jesus! Uh, there was a face in the mirror, and then it cracked. Alrighty. So the whispering is obviously going to be major clues like what they had in the first layers of fear where if you heard the whispering and uh, the voices that was kind of like there was like major clues that you could pick up. Can't really play that. Piano. It's a very nice domed ceiling here. I really like this. It's a pretty nice ship. Read the paper. All right, we have like a dining cabin here. This is very reminiscent of what uh, old um, uh, old steam liners used to look like. You know, things like Titanic. Um, are very reminiscent of this. Oh, that was the radio. Listen, once you get there, just do what you have to do. Get to the set and build this character for him. That's all that matters. So we have a little, like, mannequin-type dummy here. Some cheesecake, kind of around. That door's locked. Go right here. So we have a lifeboat here. And the uh, sun over there. This is, I think, a spotlight. I know how to ship the ship stores work. Right. 
There's no one here. This is important. Yeah, yeah. I know you've told me a million times how much you hate the seat. And I'm telling you, this gig is just too good to pass up. Icarus Transatlantic to the edge of the world and back again. Uh, French a la carte restaurant, two promenade decks, three elevators, Parisian cafe, most luxurious first class suite, guarantee of a swift and comfortable journey, SS Ulysses. So yeah, it, it's very reminiscent of the Canard White Star lines the, of the day, uh, you know, of the 1920s, 19, uh, well, early 1900s, 1920s type of uh, steam, uh, steam ships that, um, you know, Ships like Titanic, uh, Puritania, stuff like those, uh, of the time that sailed, tr you know, transatlantic. Um, you know, from places like the UK over to America. Alright. So we're in the elevator, down we go. Oh boy. So it begins. Oh, well, oh, okay. Alright, so... This goes down even further. What we have here is a uh, cargo. Ton of cargo. Just checking to see if any of it's openable. Good old fire alarm. Ah, what's this? Whistle. All third class passengers this way, please. Did you check the oh, lower so we're down decks it. this time? I swear to God, class? if we find any stowaways again, you'll never set foot on a ship again. So yeah, the um There was always basically to separate. Um, people were always separated by class um, back in, you know, on these types of ships. Um, and third class was not really all that bad. I mean, second class was obviously better than third class in terms of amenities, but this is kind of what, reminiscent of what a third class would look like. Uh, but if you were really poor, you would basically be in stewage, uh, in a stewardage, basically where the cargo was. They had little shitty bunks. They actually look worse than these. Closet full of clothes here. Note. Top of the page torn off. In an unprecedented move, the director decided to shoot his next motion picture aboard an ocean liner traveling across the Atlantic. Plot details are kept under wraps, but our trusted sources claim that the, that the project has found its star in unintelligible name. Yeah, it's all scratched off. Um, an obvious choice, perhaps, given the star's fabled career and numerous critically acclaimed roles, it seems that the recent worrying rumors as to the artist's personal life have not dissuaded the director. Locked. Bunch of stuff over here, it seems. Okay. 
From security office to chief security officer, the new procedures come into force as of next week. The company holds you personally responsible for enforcing them. Prepare all the guards for detailed briefings. As you are well aware, there have been prior incidents of unwanted individuals making their way aboard the vessel. We must ensure that that does not happen again. In short, stowaways will not be tolerated. So yeah, the, uh, back then, um, well, I mean, it doesn't, you know, with nowadays, like, cruise liners and stuff, this doesn't happen, but back when uh, ships were sailing transatlantic between places like Britain and America, a lot of, I wouldn't necessarily say adults, but more or less kids, a lot of, a lot of uh, runaway kids typically would tend to hide on board ships like these to be able to make it over to America to live a better life. Um, some adults did as well, but it, it was never, it, you know, they, it wasn't, they weren't really the ones that did it all that often, um, because it was, of course, it was really dangerous. And we have a key here. It doesn't actually have a label on it. Guessing it's for the store over here. Alright, so why is Crouch? Store's locked. Never met the guy in person, but few people have. That's why you hear all these rumors about him being broken or disfigured. All that nonsense. Broken or disfigured. Oh, I saw a rat. Scurry out from underneath all this stuff here. There's some film canisters there. Okay. So down the steps we go. Nothing we can pick up from that. And then this is the uh, reconnaissance room. This is where they would send an SOS. Which... There, oh, I was going to say it is. I can't send an SOS. There it is. That's an achievement. I, I just figured, like, let me try. Alright, well, we have a headset here as well. And there is a ticker tape, by the way, that has an SOS on it right here. As you can see, dot, 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 dash, 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 dot, dot, dot. Dash, 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 dot, 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 dash, 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 just repeating. Uh oh. Uh, yeah, we'll just go ahead and leave. Oh, great. Here we go. Starting to ramp up the shit now. Joy. So what do we have here? We have this room. We have this room, which I didn't even see. Oh, it's because we came out of this door, but okay. What do we have? We might be able to find some. 
Uh, we have a film slide. Okay. A slice of life. From your first photo slide. Okay. Cool. Hell. There's no door here now. Like, there's no way through. What the fuck? Very odd. A newspaper article part. Performance for the ages. Acting, if done well, is a scary business. It takes immense courage to lose consciousness of your own self and not just reenact, but become the character you are betraying. If you can muster that kind of courage. And yet, it happens. To which, after last night's visit to the Majestic Theater, I can personally attest. As my regular readers know all too well, I am careful with words and not the easiest critic to please. Having said that, the play's lead performance left me speechless, utterly fearless, and the acting by blank was nothing short of transcendent. It was as if the person on stage dissolved before my very eyes, letting the character burst into existence. We call that method acting, folks. I like that clock. Uh, is there anything else in here that maybe we can take a look at? Perhaps? Doesn't seem to be... You know what? Fuck you, then. That door's locked, too. Okay, so I'll go through here. This is like the, uh... This would be like the dining hall for the third class. if I want to go through there yet. You have this, like, right here. Oh, this is locked. Okay, so that's where we are going. We are going over there. Okay, that door's locked. Locked now as well. that fucking noise. Uh... Okay. Guy's got a reputation. Makes his actors jump through hoops before he even lets him on the set. Supposed the to be some new method of building the character. Bunch of artsy fartsy bullshit, if you ask me. Just go with it. Guy doesn't take no for an answer. So I'm assuming this, this is like a. This is the director. Oh shit, it's the same room. What? So what if the guy's a little nuts? He's a director. He comes with a job. I mean, what's he gonna do? More pictures, but they're different. Kill you? <laughs> Let me guess. We're gonna open the door and it's gonna be the same room again. Yep. It's all an act. There's a piece of a mask. Oh, god damn it. And the vase broke into a lot of pieces.
Okay, so now we go through this door. And... Alright, into this room here? There's a drawer here. From Igor's Transatlantic Security Office to all officers, most of you are already aware of the Hollywood motion picture that is going on to be shot on board our vessel. We are sending you detailed guidelines as to which decks are to be restricted for regular passengers. Above all else, the film crew and cast are not to be disturbed. Oh, there we go. Oh, oh boy. We have a dark room. This is a big blue ball globe. James Earl Jones? You in this game? Okay. There's always a way. A light in the darkness. Oh god. There's always a way. Go to this door now. I broke it. I will make you remember. I'm assuming that that's like the director. Lights, camera, action. Begin shooting your movie. They're back in here again. So many have tried to be a part of my greatest work as if there was ever a choice. Only one can bring this character to life. Only one is broken enough to build it. Nothing in the drawer there. Okay, so now we're in here. Camera zoomed all the way out. Sorry, what? Leave me alone. Picture of a son? With a fucked up face? Oh. I'm afraid to just go back and look into that thing, whatever it is. It's like, I'm set. Okay, so now we'll come through here. Like a bird cage. It's a combo lock. And then there's a drawing of a pirate ship with some pirates on it. Okay. So children. Wake up, Mr. Hardy. We've got to get out of this godforsaken prison before we rot. So, some kids playing pirate? Ooh. Oh dear. Oh, look at that. Six, seven, one. Would that be the combo to this? Gonna go ahead and go on through. <laughs> right. We have a bag. Are we, are we really going? Lily, I, I'm. That's Captain Baines to you, Mr. Hardy. Remember the name, Quartermaster, or I'll have you walk the plank. So, a girl's bag that has a compass on it, 
Uh, it was a boy, and, they're a boy and a girl now. We've... Oh, there's a mannequin. Fucking joy. this over here. There's a poster, remember her? I'm assuming I should be able to get this, but... I'm unable to pick it up. I should be able to pick this up. Oh, can I go up this little step like oh I can. These right, images. There we go. Memories of you. They've been haunting me. And yet you cling to him. Because without me, you have nothing. Okay. Debut. Find your first movie poster. I'm still unsure if I got this right or not. I mean, I'm, I'm guessing I did. If the next area has opened up, at least I hope I did. There's arrows on the floor. Really go here? Oh, my alarm is going off on my phone. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, oh. Fire with a dummy here. Jeez. Well, oh, outlay has changed. The 
fires out. Yeah, that's where we can go. Alright. So I think this is really the only way. I'm back, Mahardi. Crayon chalk. Scouted out the whole area. It looks like there's a trail we can follow. I left by fellow pirates, no doubt, to lead us to a safe harbor. Okay. This leads to here. Time and description of activities. 10.05 p.m. break over. 10.30 p.m. last repair technician leaves the ship through the gangway on E-deck aft. 11 p.m. patrolling the waterfront along the ship. 11.27 p.m. on patrol near the cargo area. Saw a shadow move. Small. Most likely a child. I gave chase but could not find anyone. Line circled in red. 12 a.m. watch over. Oh, so maybe... Saw a ghost. Maybe it was a stowaway. Maybe the the two kids that are that we're seeing like the perspective of are are both uh okay. Maybe the kids that were the perspective of are um they're stowaway kids, maybe? There she is, Mr. Hardy. The fastest vessel oh, ever cool. built. Ready to set sail for the land of the flame. I don't see any sails. Shh. We must make our way aboard. Quietly. Okay. So it looks like he's holding a gun. This room here, I guess. Here. A oh, pirate ship. Some gold. It's gone. Oh, wow, look at this. Like a set for a pirate ship. Waves and clouds. There's a mannequin here. Okay, well, I guess we take the wheel.
treasure? Avast, Mr. Hardy. Too many of them scurvy dogs to take head on. Lily, I want to go home. Quartermaster, steal yourself. Be your heart soaked in doubt, or be there a fire burning within. So the little boy doesn't really seem like he wants to play pirate, but the little the little girl does. Whoa! The batteries are low. Okay, we got a key. Sun? Back to reality. I'm guessing we're going this way now. All right. Oh, and all of a sudden it's black and white. to order one sturdy wooden chest built entirely of old oak with heavy iron banding additional leather straps and carrying handles on the side large enough to fit a grown man we hope to find our work to your satisfaction find carpentry uh, carpentry treasure chest then Character. Is that what it's supposed to say? Be ready to go back. Okay. Back through here. Okay, there's, doesn't really seem to be anything there. Where do we have this? <clears throat> okay, let's see. So these. See what that does. <laughs> Just kind of moves. Bank. Dead body. Somebody has like a gun. I'm confused. Oh, well, there's nobody here. All 
Okay. I don't want to be caught in the spotlight. I know you did it. You killed her. Double Through shadows. This, it was her killing me. Slowly. All this time. Okay. Ten to the right, eighty, uh, eighty left, forty right. Okay, right, that's locked. In eighty forty. Okay. So this looks like this looks like film. Achievement. One take. I'm getting caught by the lights. Okay. Oh, I see. It's an eighty forty. I remember. Got it? Oh no, this is 10 80 Oh, you have to let go on the number, okay. I get it now. In the land we've seen behind shut eyes, the one of bright shores caressed by tide, where there's no pain, 
no fear, no fury, no lies. There we shall stand tall, our hearts full of pride. If your dreams are bold and by no man bound, if your soul is strong, unlike any other, able to build walls or tear to the ground, then yours is this world, my little brother. Okay, a seashell and a poem. Uh, I'm sorry, what the fuck? Oh. Desert Island. Okay. So this like leads all the way around here, so what is this? Door's locked. Ah, we have another slide. Mr. Hardy is a quartermaster, and that is a very important thing to be because a quartermaster takes care of getting the crew where it needs to be and also makes sure there's plenty of food and rum for everyone. Mr. Hardy is very loyal to the captain and always follows orders because he knows that he, the captain, not Mr. Hardy, is a fearless leader. The captain sometimes gets cross with Mr. Hardy, but that's only because he cares greatly about the whole crew. The truth is... Bottom of the page, torn off. I guess we're going here. There's the deer. Oh, wait. There's a door. Oh shit. Oh, and uh, so here's our first movie reference, if you guys recognize this carpet, uh, and the, and the trike there, you'll know that this is a reference to The Shining. This should be 213, I think it's 213 right there? 213? That's a reference to The Shining. The carpet and the trike. I should climb through here. There's a photo. Oh, Jesus. You've been hit by a chair. Ooh, another poster. This fellow is wise enough to play the fool.
another picture here. The theater. Up and over. First thing to do is to get rid of it. A little spark is all it takes to set the human soul on fire. What if I don't want to shoot any of them? Why wait? Can I deny? Do I have to shoot somebody? Action. I want to see if I if I just sit here and don't do anything if it'll Shoot the guy. Life for life. One must be taken. The right one. Oh, he wants us to shoot the right one. Well, I don't want to shoot the right no. one. I want to shoot the left one. You look, but do not see. Shoot her. I don't want to shoot her. I want to shoot him. Off screen. Who are we to deny it? We must look deeper. We must do better. We must. So, I mean, I'm, a, I'm, I'm guessing that this is kind of where that starts maybe a branching path to a different ending or to different endings. I, the director wants you to shoot her, but I don't want to shoot her. I want to shoot the guy. So, I mean... Okay. 
Crossing in through here. That's the cat toy from the first layers of fear. I guess. Oh, joy. Oh, God. What the fuck, dude? Nope. I'm not playing that fucking game. Mr. Hardy, this chart will Map lead us ship. away from peril and into safe harbor. So they are stowaways, the kids. So they're hiding on the ship? It takes courage to stand up to someone stronger than you. I could never do it. I wasn't brave enough, but she was. sister Replica of a prop shopping list. Replica of a 17th century flintlock pistol, one fully operational. Flash powder, crossed out gunpowder, 4 cakes, 66 pounds each. Ammunition, 5 boxes, 100 pieces each. Dummies, 100. Okay. Only one of us knows what must be done. Uh, only one knows what is at stake. The other doesn't need to know, doesn't need to understand, only to listen and act. Yeah, there's locked. Lily. Flashlight. Something in the dark. Someone's coming. Hello? Anyone there? Bloody hell. Sod it. The 
Chief, once it checks so bad, he can bloody well do it himself. So yeah, the the they are stowaways. Down in uh, all the way down here. For a second, I thought that was a recording. Here, monster. I don't want any part of that. Nope. No, thank you. Fuck off, man. Charlie, oh my cat, I scared my cat. Oh my god. This bottle do. Hurry, we have to secure it. They'll be here any moment. Lily, I, I'm scared. You should be scared. You know what happens if they find us. They'll send us back. Oh god. Fuck this. I saw him, man. I saw him. Oh, my God. Oh no. The door behind you. Misa don't want to play no more. The hunt. Oh, I've got a film reel. It's got rats on it. See, I was starting to feel like, uh, you know, like everything was just kind of too weird for me, and uh, then that, then that happened, and uh, yeah, I was, I was pretty much out for that. Ooh, I don't know what. I just got like barely a glimpse of it, and all. Oh, Act Two: The Hunt. So we're in, uh, so okay. So this is Act Two now. So is it gonna go back to like uh it does it goes to go back to my main room here. So here's my bathroom. Ooh okay. All right. <laughs> uh, character, put the mask on. Rescart. Show your sweet face. Oh, is this just character? The mask on. Character, put the mask on. 
Inside every actor is the one part they were born to play, the one character they were meant to build. Chip away the bloody marble. Give form to the formless until all that remains is the truth. Okay, and we have more slides. So this first slide is like the ship, what looks like the ship on fire. Second slide is like everybody boarding the ship. And the third slide looks like an outside shot of the ship by the dock. Okay, so the metronome again. We are now entering the east part of the borough. This particular area holds a special place in my heart as I grew up not far from here myself. A few things have changed, it seems, for better or worse. I see children playing in the streets, not a care in their little minds. Wasn't for their shabby clothes, one could almost forget about the crushing poverty that plagues so many of the local families. But what do we have here? A boy, sitting on a park bench, alone. Perhaps he won't mind if we pick his brain a bit. Good morning, young man. What's your name? Good morning, young man. What's your... Get it, see? So, an audio recording. James. You run, but do you know the way? You build one character, you destroy the other, but which one what is the which? Hell? Uh, I don't know what the fuck I just did. Okay. So behind the recording door is what I'm assuming maybe is all these photos put together. I don't know. You Did it just repeat? But do you know the way? Yeah. You build so one character, you destroy the other. But which one is which? Okay. So, yeah, I'm guessing you just have to put it all... You have to put it all together by... Is it the slides or the films? That go together? Okay, so we know not to go through there, because it's just going to repeat. Um... Alright, so then... Let's see here. My bathroom... Alright, let's see what's upstairs before we... Call it. Um, alright. Oh, movie posters. So the movie posters are going along here. Uh, so I don't think I've missed any, because these are all... Like, in order, I would say. So these are all going to go along this wall. Movie posters we find. What about... What about this? Oh. Oh. Fisherman. Spot something through the spyglass. Oh, okay, so... Every time you come back to this room, is there going to be something, like, in the spyglass that you would get? Where does that go? Oh. Oh, right here. Okay. So you get a nice little boat through the spyglass. There's nothing else out here, so I don't think so. It all just looks like a 
thing. Okay, well, uh, so, uh, yeah, so we have to, we're gonna have to go back through here. We're gonna have to play the next film. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to play the next film. So there's three more films after this one. Okay. Wow, so, uh, these acts are a lot longer than, like, the first, the first game, so... Okay, well, we're going to call it there uh, for the first part. Uh, we'll be back next time with uh, part two for Act Two, The Hunt. All right, thanks, everybody, for joining me, and I will see you all on the next part of Layers of Fear 2. Goodbye. <laughs>